Dwarf Sonic here, and it's been a while since I played Metal Gear Online, so I figured I'd go ahead and play a few rounds. As soon as I logged in, I was welcomed to this notice article for violations, and you can go ahead and read it here. All I can say is, luckily, I didn't experience this issue at all during the during the rounds I did get to play. So, I do have a few characters to choose from, but the one I'm sticking with right now is Johnny Jr. because I'm trying to make him an instructor. I just think it would be hilarious to have Johnny Jr. as an instructor instructing people around. He's just this really goofy character I made. I also put a cardboard box on his head, which you got as a bonus item for pre-ordering one of the expansion packs. And I have a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of people don't see it very often. For example, this guy here. and It's just fun to be running around with this cardboard on your head. Especially when you get a headshot, it just explodes. And it just cracks me up seeing it explode the way it does. Now, what I went ahead and did here was I created a reel of deaths, kills, and some interesting scenes. I'll try to comment as the scenes happen, and if there's nothing to say, I'll just try to be quiet and let you watch. So, here we go. So, right off the bat, I want to say I love the sound in this game. When you hear people get hit, and when they get sent like that, and when they get completely killed, you, you hear like that final, that one. And I just love it when I throw a grenade and I just see my name like that. I think you get the idea. Here comes a great death scene with the cardboard box. That's got to be one of the best rewards for successfully getting a headshot. Honestly, uh, more games should put boxes on heads that you could shoot off. It would just be awesome. Nothing really happened here. Just really taking a look at how this guy looks like Snake or Big Boss. Oh, this is why I made a <laughs> Johnny. This is why I made a complete failure. The game said I could make it, but no, it was it was not to be. Now this is just a complete mess. I got scared from my own teammate's grenade, ran into the middle, started punching air. And I went crazy with my grenades. But I ended up killing the guy that killed me. Caused him to have that awesome flip forward. And another death scene. Here it comes. Cardboard explosion. With a twist. And everybody dies. Oh, check out this awesome camera work as I roll. Michael Bay, eat your heart out. Now, Johnny Jr. has some of the funniest catchphrases and sayings. For example, this place here, I'm completely surrounded by enemies, so... I make a run for it, and Johnny Jr. has the perfect thing to say. I need reinforcements! Hurry! <laughs> Amazingly, I actually do usually get back up and here's another death it's pretty funny though oh smack I tell you the, the bullet didn't kill him that hit to the ground surely would have it took a while but uh, I finally killed somebody with a gun and not a grenade I'm engaging the enemy yeah! I get a taste of my own medicine with the grenades here. For some reason, I thought I could hide and survive in the cardboard box. Yeah, I was wrong. Also wrong, and it looks like I'm taking a nap on the ground. <laughs> but uh, I get that person back. Yay! Sweet revenge. <laughs> oh, I like the way he just kind of dived there. So, uh, I actually get a nice little run here, a little pray and spray action going, but I, I made it, and she's trying to knock me out. 
And I somehow killed her twice. A lot of weirdness going on here. And Johnny Jr. lives to die another day. I like this map. I really would have liked them also to add more maps from older Metal Gear games. Like this one came from Metal Gear Solid 3. I'd like to see some things from Metal Gear Solid 2. Or even the original Metal Gear Solid. That would have been neat. But I don't think they're going to add any more expansion packs to the game. So what you see here is probably all we're going to get. Yeah, that was odd. I'm being attacked. I can't see the enemy. <laughs> I find that comment funny, considering that he has a cardboard box on his head. Well, what do we have here? It's a trap. But I saw it. Now I know the enemy's around the corner. I just can't seem to spot him. And I want to try to be sneaky and sneak up on him, but it doesn't work out that way. I'm lucky I uh, survived that fight. And not so lucky on that one. You know, I, I do like that death animation, that little hop. Well, look at that, he's holding his bottom. Okay, so this is why I start using grenades again. Actually, I killed him with a gun. Let's do it. Go, go, go. Uh, if I can't shoot him, I'm gonna blow him up. I said it earlier, I'll say it again. I love the way you can hear when you get him. This was my hero moment. This is how I handle hostage situations. Shoot, 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 shoot. And shoot some more. You know that means I'm gonna die badly. But he did avenge me. timing here worked out really well. I got down just before he came out and luckily he didn't spot me and I was able to sneak around. I kind of got confused here. Um, I didn't realize the guy behind me right here was my teammate or else I would have jumped towards him and not away from him. And that was a weird death animation. Just kind of, he just kind of collapsed.
new map here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just let Johnny Jr. do the talking. Now this part confuses me, because it was not aiming at me at all. Well, I guess it was, maybe that was auto lock? I don't know, it just looked weird. Got another hostage situation. I'm able to kill the guy, but he had he had the ability to kill with the blade, so he, he killed the other guy too. This clip is going to be the longest one of them all, uh, because what's going on here is I'm working my way to the back, to try to sneak around the, the, the enemies here. They're pretty much all sniping us from afar, so I figured if I could get to the back, we could kind of sandwich them in. So that's what's going on right now. And I'll go ahead and let you just see what happens. So I'm actually trying to do something like a strategy here. I'm hoping that they're going to actually come over and we're going to sandwich them. Uh, through all the other matches, I'm just running gun. This is the only one that I actually stopped and tried to pull something off as a, as a team here. If anything, at least act like I'm a decoy. Right about now is when the all the teammates actually did come over here, so I was really kind of happy that they did form up and they kind of got the idea of what I was hoping they would do. Whether they did it or not, just it worked out the way I'd hoped it was. So I wanted, I took the time to tell them that that they were good and and, and that I liked it. I like the way he came by and kind of just shot me there. I wish the cardboard would have broke. That would have just been perfect. Well, anyway, this is uh, pretty much the end of the video. And I want to say uh, I did really enjoy playing a few rounds of MGO. It, uh, it's still, the way I remember, it's still fun. I didn't really have any weird problems. The room I ended up joining had good players that were respectful. and It just made the environment even just rich environment to play in and I always come back and play MGO every once in a while it's just a very unique game that you know even to now holds up in its own way so anyway thanks for watching Roger. I don't know. <laughs>